Hey guys, we're Tara and Mandy from Living Rosa and welcome back to Millennial Moms. Introducing your fur babies to your new baby is very stressful. So today we're gonna give you some ideas to help make the transition for your pet, baby, and your own sanity a lot smoother. We have two dogs, Delilah and Roxy, and a little over two months ago, we were bringing a new member into their home. These are our top four tips that helped us turn our family of four into a family of five. Tip number one, introduce your pet slowly. Before Lennon was even born, we started getting our dogs used to all of the baby's new stuff. Every time we brought a new baby product into the house, we put it together, we put batteries in it, we played the sounds, we made the movements. Just let them get used to everything because you don't want your pet to experience sensory overload with a new member in the house and then you start playing a sound machine and a baby swing and it's just gonna be too much all at once. The first time we set up our baby swing and we turned it on, Delilah was terrified of it. But now she'll lay right next to Lennon in it and have no problem. If you have any friends with kids or babies, invite them over so your pet can get used to being around small children. Experiment with your friend's kids, not your own. <laughs> After Lennon was born, we sent home a receiving blanket and a onesie that had Lennon's smell on it, just so they can smell and get used to the baby scent before we actually brought her into the home. And when we finally came home, Lennon's blanket was on Delilah's bed and she was sleeping with it. It was the cutest <laughs> thing ever. Tip number two, give your animal their own space. Bringing a new member into their house is gonna be very stressful for them, so you wanna make their own special area just for them that's cozy with a blanket or a bed or something that they can just go and de-stress because pets get stressed too. And also, when we brought London home, we got them each a new toy and gave it to them when she was here just so they didn't feel left out like we forgot about them. Tip number three, don't forget your pets still need exercise and lots of attention. If you're too tired from having a newborn, ask a friend or a family member to come and take your dog for a walk just even around the block or go in the backyard and play ball with them just so they can get out their energy because dogs can get jealous. Another great idea is looking around in your neighborhood for a doggy daycare or even a local dog walker where you could just drop your dog off for a couple hours just to get some attention from humans and other animals. Your dog will start acting out if they get jealous and you don't want that to happen with a new baby. Tip number four, pets and babies always require supervision. Never leave your pet and the baby alone in the room together. Even if you have the sweetest pet in the entire world, when you leave the room, always take the baby or the pet with you. You never know, even if your pet doesn't mean to intentionally harm the baby, it could happen. It is important, however, when you're in the room with your baby and your pet together, let your dog smell them, let your cat smell them, whatever pet you have, but let them smell the baby, let them come close to the baby so they can get used to them being around. Another thing you might wanna do before having the baby home is get your dogs groomed and have their nails trimmed. When you bring a newborn home, you just want everything to feel clean and this might be a huge help. Always remember, your fur babies were your first babies. Keeping these simple tips in mind really made introducing Lennon to our pets a lot smoother. Leave in the comments down below what you did to help make this transition easier on your pets. Thanks for watching Millennium Moms and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.